So there's three main points of data that we're going to pull to create this estimate. So feel free to write these down. The first is going to be the physical attributes of the house. That's your bedroom, that's your bed, bathroom, that's your square footage, things like that. The second is going to be the tax data that we're collecting from the public record. And then the third is the recent sales data. Now, yes, Karen? I think the most challenging part in our particular West Penn multi-list, square footage is not part of it. And I think that's different than anything else in the country. That's actually so a really great point. that from somewhere else since our multi-list doesn't have it? No, that's going to, so the Zestimate is only as accurate as the data that we have. So, so if we don't that. have that, that's going to make the Zestimate inaccurate. Take Texas, for example. It's a non-disclosure state. So the recent sales data, it's impossible to have that as a piece of the Zestimate. So in places like San Antonio, Dallas, Houston, the Zestimate, when we look at the ranking of the Zestimate, because we rank, you'll notice right here, this is actually on the FAQ uh, section of the Zestimate for any consumer to see. And we rank the Zestimate by metro areas and give it a four star rating, one star to four stars, based on how accurate we believe the data is. A place in Texas like that, they all have one star because it just can't be accurate without the sales data. So, with that given knowledge, in the Pittsburgh area, it's going to be about 8 to 10% of a median error. All right? That means, let's say you take a $200,000 house, it's going to be off in either direction by about fourteen to $20,000. We're the only one that's as transparent with our data, where it comes from, and how off it is. So you can actually go to the FAQ section of this estimate and pull an Excel spreadsheet of every county in this country and find what the median error is. So any county that you work, you can go there, pull it, and you can have that data. So when you're talking to your consumer. A couple of things that I want to relay that I coach my agents that I work with on. First off, anytime someone's talking about this estimate, if you have negative feelings towards it, just keep those inside because they've been looking at Zillow, they trust Zillow. What you want to do is simply say, great, I'm a Zillow expert. Here's what goes into this estimate. Educate the consumer because a lot of times they don't know. Once you educate them on it, then transition in talking about what the actual local marketplace looks like. Because it's rapidly changing. One street can be different from the street down the, um, down the block. You know, markets are are changing. So this estimate is never going to be accurate. That's just the reality. Nor do we want it to be.